Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you my review of Samsung Go Mi Portable USB Condenser Microphone. So without further ado, let's start with unboxing. In my opinion, this inexpensive piece of hardware packed exceptionally well in a simple carton box with some sort of specially shaped plastic foam form. So we've got very nicely made manual with all possible explanations. USB A to USB mini B cable and a little zip hard case with microphone itself. Feels as very well made piece of hardware. Strong metal build, full aluminium body without any visual presence of plastic elements. Very well thought through design makes this microphone capable of making high quality, studio grade so to say, audio recording. It's constructed out of two membranes placed in one line on top of each other. Also very nicely designed clip-on construction which works just perfect in almost any case. Switch knobs feels very good, strong build, looks like the quality you can trust. This is an expensive USB microphone, has been brought to the market by Samsung around 10 years ago. At this point you can find it in many online shops with very nice price somewhere around 30-40 euro dollars which makes it extremely attractive to many. It could be used in a lot of different ways, from Skype, FaceTime or any other communication purposed applications, till recording of vocal parts, sampling and ambient recordings. Due to plug and play design, this little wonder works almost with any device. It works perfectly with Android based systems, iOS, iPadOS, Windows, Linux or Mac. So let's try it out with some of my hardware. For start I'll try out on Android phone with my beloved LG G8 and USB recorder pro. In order to connect it I'll use this little USB-C on the go adapter and now connect it with the phone, firing up the application. Don't forget to check channels for input and frequency range for recording. Works very well, nice clean recording. Moving on further to iPad OS on iPad Pro. This is plug and play device, so iOS recognizes it right away and after confirmation is completely integrated in the system. So it is indeed very easy to use. Now firing up GarageBand. Just one more time checking on the ins and outs and we are ready to record. Please don't forget that in this case of lightning connector you will need lightning USB 3.0 adapter which will cost you two times more than the microphone itself. I have to point out that it also has a good headphones amplifier which can drive quite heavy studio headphones without any problems. And last but not least, let's try it out with Windows PC. Connect it just through the USB connector as usual. We will place it right on top of the screen next to the webcam. From one side it has USB mini B data connector and audio headphones out which could be used also as monitor out for monitoring during recording vocals or overdubs. Now have to change in and out in preferences and we're good to go. At first let's try out with Audacity, one of the best open source audio solutions. Setting up ins and outs to Samsung Go mic. Press record and go.
further to the Ableton. The same as with other software packages, we'll have to choose in and out. This condenser USB microphone has two polar patterns, could be used as cardioid or omni, depending on the situation. For example, when you need to record a voice, cardioid would be the best choice. Or when you need to make an ambient recording, omni is the way to go. I've tried it out in many occasions, different situations with different hardware. I have to say that I was always really happy with the results. Recordings made with this microphone were sound very clean, easily comparable to much higher priced microphones. I also was capable of making very clean, high quality ambient recordings. Further speaking about quality of the vocal recordings, I can say that I was capable to record good, manageable vocal parts. In short, this USB microphone is a remarkable piece of hardware, which I would recommend to anybody who is in need of high quality audio recordings on the go. Thank you for joining in, thumbs up if you liked it, please subscribe and see you all next time.